Hey, what's going on? Are you okay? You feeling sad? Hey, it's okay. You know what always cheers me up? Subscribing to my YouTube channel. Hey, and while you're at it, maybe you can share with some friends. Hey, what's going on? Uh, in the last video, I showed a game that I was playing recently, and a lot of people was wondering what it was, and I didn't show the title of the game. That's my bad. The game is called Potion Craft. I'm not sponsored by them. I just legitimately like the game. I am launching an NFT. I am just kidding. Could you imagine, though? All right. Hopefully that's off in the blow enough. Raid Shadow Legends is a mobile game I'm sure you're hearing about for the first time just now. Let's go check it out. It'll make all of your dreams come true. Come on, you're gonna love it. I said come on. <laughs> Raid Shadow Legends is a game about building a team of champions, putting them in an epic battle, and laying waste to endless dangerous enemies. Sounds like my Friday night if you know what I'm talking about. What the hell are you doing on Friday night? This Halloween season, Raid has a bunch of spicy new champions to play. I'm loving these new Halloween themed champions, like Harvest Jack, who looks like he could kill me easily. Brackus Shifter, who looks like he could kill me easily. And Masked Fearmonger, who looks... Misunderstood. I like that Raid Shadow Legends doesn't only have one game mode, but also a PvP mode. Get all your cool guys together and go head to head with another group of cool guys. Only the coolest of guys will be left standing. So you probably don't have much of a chance, actually. This month, there's a jam packed set of Halloween events and activities for you to enjoy. Tons of rewards and tournaments and special fragment events to get some of those aforementioned Halloween champions. If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan my QR code and you'll get an epic hero. 200k silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in game. Good luck and I will see you in ha in the battlefield. Okay, Minecraft, the game that everybody really has. My god, do you know how big Minecraft is? Bigger than Tetris, that is insane. This game is actually historic. The year is 2009 and Notch is feeling some inspiration from the block mining game no one has ever heard of and Fun Eyesore. He put two and two together and that was the beginning of the end, I mean of Minecraft. He started making Minecraft using his programming knowledge in Java, making the grass, the trees, the pig. Is that some that's supposed to be a pig? Why does the pig look like that? Okay, there's the pig. That looks much more accurate. I guess you get to stay also. At this point, the game was a fraction of what it would eventually be. And this was around the time I found it. I was surfing the world wide web when I came across some web forum that was talking about water elevators and how to construct them. Interesting, I think, as I delve deeper. Turns out it was free weekend and I could download the game and try it out. And the rest is history. Now hundreds of millions of people play the game and now it's officially the biggest game of all time. Kind of cool. Ever since that point, I have loved Minecraft. I remember being really into it to the point of making a high school presentation about how Minecraft and video games in general are good for you Yes, I know I was very cringe Too bad. I never grew out of it The presentation was supposed to be about how video games improve reaction times, which I don't think that's even true in reality I was just coping with my addiction to video games. I've since turned my life around I no longer play League of Legends Minecraft has since gotten an education edition But before that happened claiming that video games are good for your mental health was a weird take Video games as an education is a really new concept and people in the education world would laugh at you and say video games cause violence You little ding-dong. What are you talking about? But not anymore now kids get to play Minecraft uh, for education and that's great I'm not bitter at all. All I gotta do to learn was timetables. And I was really bad at those. I don't know how many hours I've played in Minecraft, but I know that it's a lot. And a lot of what I did was make a little house and then waiting for it to rain and then listening to the rain, but inside. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Woo! Mechanically, there's a lot of things that make Minecraft fun, but oh, that, that rain, delicious. If you haven't heard, there's also a game coming out sometime called Hytale. It's a game that kind of sprouted from Minecraft because it was a Minecraft server, uh, still is a Minecraft server. You can go play on it right now. And it's not out yet, but I'm very excited. And the reason I bring it up is because look at the sound in this game. I guess you can't look at it, but here it is. It's so good! Oh my god! I could live in this game. Just saying, Hytale, you need a beta tester. 
I think there was one really crucial thing that made Minecraft as popular as it is today. YouTube has changed their algorithm a bunch of times. At one point, YouTube changed the algorithm to favor watch time, which means if somebody watched 10 minutes, that video has 10 minutes of watch time. If two people watch 10 minutes of video, that's 20 minutes of watch time. Turns out, a little bit of a loophole, you can play one hour of Minecraft, cut it up into six 10 minute videos, and post unbelievably large amounts of content. Way more than like a makeup YouTuber or skit YouTuber who has to like plan and skit and set up the camera. Minecraft YouTubers went crazy. Minecraft videos were everywhere. Minecraft in suggested. Minecraft in trending. Minecraft in my bed. <laughs> Hello? Yes, there's someone in my bed. It was Minecraft. Hello? 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 Whoa. YouTube was able to reach billions of people. If Minecraft didn't have an entire social media platforming it, that would have costed a lot. And for an indie developer, that would have been really impossible. In advertisements, I mean. None of this is to say that Minecraft didn't pop off because it wasn't a fun game. The game was really fun. Now it's important for it to be as popular as it is. I'm just saying, YouTube really blew it up. And it, like, in a way, was kind of a golden age. I remember playing Minecraft while watching Minecraft, specifically Yogg's Cast and their Jaffa Cakes Factory series. Ah, <sighs> that was the good stuff. I also just want to mention, congratulations to the LA. How do you pronounce this? on winning the vote. This little guy can go out and pick up more items for you, which is awesome. These guys are cute, but this one's just the F3 button and this one rusts. I'm sorry, you guys. With the LA, LA, how do you pronounce this? Coming in with so much utility, I, it's a no brainer for me. He can just like come around, pick up some stuff and come back with more of it. And that's amazing. Where's my can of whoop ass? Speaking of additions to Minecraft, Microsoft, if you are listening, here are some random Minecraft feature ideas that I have. Free of charge, you're welcome. <clears throat> X-ray glasses that you can see ores a couple of blocks beyond the surface so strip mining is more efficient. Personally, I hate spending time mining. You go underground and then later come back out looking like you're old enough to remember the Black Plague. Earmuffs that lessen the noise from mobs unless you're like right next to them. <laughs> Need I say more? A hot air balloon for traveling far away without needing to get over any mountains or fall down ravines. Oh no. An item like a crystal necklace or something that a compass always points to. You can hang it on the wall of like a different base that you have. You could put it on your horse. You can sneak and put it in the back pocket of your friend if you want to stock them. <clears throat> so in like addition, I'd like to say that- ah! Oh. Oh yeah, I got merch now. It looks like this and you can order it until the 29th and then it's gone. You can pick it up at this website if you want. Uh, so if you already have ordered some, thank you very much. It is very much appreciated. Subscribe if you want. And ultimately just thank you for watching. You know, I used to be able to solve a Rubik's cube and I can't remember anymore. What the hell's with that?